Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fourth video. So we're going to have a look at the uh, 12Z uh, for this one. Just a quick zip through the uh, GFS, the uh, GM and the ECM WF as well. All the uh, 12Z models have uh, updated now at uh, just gone 7 o'clock in the evening. So a uh, wet and D and I'll go through the big three uh, in a moment. So uh, first thing I released today was the ECMWF 42 day uh, forecast. So that's uh, look ahead for the next uh, six weeks with the uh, long range ECM. Uh, weekend forecast, of course, your weekend broadcast as always on a Saturday and it takes a 14 day update with all of the regular features as well. Do check out those two videos uh, when you're done with this one. Right, let's get on with this then. So we're going to begin uh, with the uh, GFS. So this is the current situation with the GFS. We've got low pressure down to our southwest. We're bringing in a cold uh, flow from the north and from the east uh, as well. Now, as we run through... Uh, the next few hours, we're going to find another low pressure trying to come in off the Atlantic. That one is uh, struggling there. And then a more definitive area of low pressure on Tuesday will bring heavy rain to the south and sleet and snow up in the north. Uh, so what we're looking for is like easterly winds at the weekend. That's what, where the confusion was uh, in, in with the midnight runs that we showed you with our 10 to 14 day. Uh, the key point is around Thursday to Friday with this low over into the west of the country. We've got to push that south down to Biscay and to Spain to get the wind into the east. It looks like the GFS 12Z is doing that. So as we go from Thursday through to Friday, yes, we do start to open the door to easterly winds. Here come the easterlies as we go from Friday into Saturday. In fact, a proper easterly blast setting up there uh, with the GFS 12Z across England and Wales in particular. We're all in an easterly wind, but wind is light across Scotland and Northern Ireland. But for England and Wales, that is a very strong easterly wind uh, that will drive in uh, bitterly cold air from the east next weekend and potentially uh, quite a lot of snow showers uh, as well. Now as we run from Saturday into Sunday we find the uh, isobars, the gradient tightening even further so that easterly wind is strengthening like mad as we go from uh, Saturday into Sunday next week. There's also this area of low pressure moving up from France. Now this is the kind of thing that can dump a lot of snow on lowland southern England. This is not a forecast uh, for a dump of snow across lowland southern England at the moment, but it is the kind of pattern that could do that. So those of you in the south, and you've been in my comments uh, on the videos for, for several weeks complaining about how you're missing out on the snow, um, that's the sort of thing that could deliver a proper old dump of snow to, to the south of England. But it's like next weekend, so it's a long way out. Um, at the very least, we'd be driving in snow showers on that strong to gale force easterly wind. Right, so we move up towards day 10. We keep it cold uh, with GFS 12Z up to uh, day 10. High pressure maintained over Scandinavia. Low pressure being blocked uh, out of the Atlantic. And, and so up to day 10, this stays cold. It does probably turn drier as you lose that easterly wind. Um, but, but cold, frosty and icy uh, around day 10. Beyond that, into more extended range. Uh, so low pressure tries come in from off the Atlantic. So a proper battle is going on here as we're moving through the second week of uh, February. We're turning wind into the south, but it's probably not an overly mild southern wind, although the upper air temperatures would be mild down on the surface, because that is probably coming from like like quite a frozen uh, sort of continent. I imagine that is quite a cold um, southerly wind. And this is a real battle going on here. Uh, so high pressure going back to Scandinavia, length of February, low pressures out in the Atlantic, strong southerly wind. There will be uh, weather that's involved in that. That's the kind of thing that could give like like a snow event. It might give, it might even give freezing rain. That's the kind of pattern that might even give some freezing rain. So all sorts going on there. Uh, eventually, um, uh, it looks like the heights are strengthening over Scandinavia though. So eventually it looks like this low pressure is going to try to get diverted southwards again. Uh, along with the jet stream. So, so uh, again, it's, that's, uh, that's a teaser-type pattern 
isn't it? But but there's more potential for cold weather and potentially snow there as we're out to the middle of February. That's how long as we get to the end of GFS 12Z. So by that point, it looks like we started pulling so much colder air from the north um, again. But but I don't think we should look beyond day 10. Anyway, the, the GFS 12Z is bringing in those easy winds next weekend and also the risk of snow. Let's have a look at the uh, GM uh, 12Z then. So here we go. Uh, again, current situation is low pressure is across the northern parts of uh, France. Let's go to 72 hours. Low pressure trying to come in off the Atlantic will bring snow on Tuesday to the north rain down in the south. Um, easy winds into Scotland on Wednesday. Um, rain for England and Wales. Uh, moving over to Thursday and Friday. This is also sending the low pressure to the south and strengthening the easterly wind as we get through to Friday. We are pulling in the winds from the east now uh, as high pressure is blocking um, to our north. What's going to happen then? Let's have a look. So we're going to next weekend. Saturday, 6th of September, and there we are again. Uh, the wind is back, is in from the east. We're back into the east. It's a strong and bitterly cold easterly wind that we have blowing there uh, across the country as well. So, so becoming bitterly cold with that east wind next weekend, driving in snow showers, particularly to England and Wales. Uh, with this same idea as the GFS, is low pressure trying to come up from France, tightening the gradient further. So that's like a gale force easterly wind. Um, and potentially that, is, that low pressure over France is bringing uh, more persistent areas of snow to the south. Look at this, looking very snowy, cold and wintry with easterly winds um, next weekend, uh, particularly for England and Wales and particularly in southern areas. Uh, very, very blocked and this long fetch easterly continues, low pressure Continues to be to our south. This is, again, the kind of thing that could deliver a lot of snow to lowland southern England, where you have not had snow so far this winter. This is the kind of thing that could deliver a lot of snow to the south. The GM finishes up bitterly cold with winds in from the east. Let's just have a look at the upper air temperatures uh, with that GFS 12Z uh, run. So we'll start at around 120 hours. So firstly, cold air is digging in to uh, the north. Let's see what happens after that. So, so yes, here we go. Uh, we're bringing back that colder air in off the uh, uh, from the east on those easy winds. My ten cells ice is pushing through the coach. That's the kind of thing that can be regarded as a beast from the east uh, when my ten is pushing through the country on an easterly uh, wind. The gradient lifts up a little bit, or upper air temperature lifts up a little bit in the south. That's as that low pressure comes up from France, but of course that provides the potential for for a dump of snow. Uh, in the south, and then uh, we finish up as we move up, to, up towards day 10, we're back into those east winds, east winds are maintained, so it just looks really cold, uh, day 10, my 10 Celsius ice club, very much involved, I didn't show you the upper air temperatures with the GFS, so we can have a quick look at those as well, again from uh, around Thursday, the cold air is in uh, the north and from the northeast into Friday. Those cold, easy winds descending, bringing the minus 10 Celsius ice firm uh, with them. Uh, so we're all within that minus 10 Celsius ice firm uh, by next weekend. We just look very, very cold, don't we, under those blue colours there next weekend. So bitterly cold, uh, strong, easy wind, driving in snow, and for the south, there's a risk of more persistent areas of snow with that low pressure coming coming up from France. And then the last model that we'll look at is the uh, ECM. Now, we know that this morning, or on the midnight run, the ECM uh, went mild, didn't it, and caused a lot of concern uh, within, uh, within the cold weather uh, community. Um, so let's see what the ECM 12Z uh, is doing. So we start again on Tuesday with low pressure uh, over and to the west of the country. Um, Scotland hangs on to those cold east south pieces, otherwise it's a little bit milder through the middle part of the week. Now, this is the key point, Thursday to Friday, with this area of low pressure. Remember, we've got to get that low pressure down to Biscay to get wind in from the east. On Friday at midday, the east end is still keeping that low pressure uh, over the top of the country. What happens on Saturday? Let's see. The low pressure moves eastwards. And we pull in like a cold northerly. So the east end is getting colder for next weekend. It's not doing it from the east, though. 
it's doing it um, from the north. Then low pressure starts to come back in from the Atlantic. So, so it's trying to bring milder air back in from the west again. That might, as it runs into the cold air, deliver some snow, um, however. And uh, we finish up looking like this at day 10, taking the low pressure wave to the east, bring the ridge back from the north, pulling in a cold northerly wind. So the, the ECM-12Z is not as cold as the GFS and the GM. It is not bringing in easterly winds at any point uh, in the next 10 days. It is, however, colder than this morning's midnight run. So this might be, I hope you're all following this, it's quite complicated. This might be the start of the ECM starting to shift back to colder weather. Again, it could be, it could be starting to shift back to, to colder weather. But it's not doing it from, like, the east. It's actually doing it um, from uh, from the north. Uh, finally, I'll just show you the icon, uh, see what that one is showing. So um, this is how it looks up to a week out. This one also is bringing easterly winds by next weekend as well. So that's the Dito D icon also setting up easterly winds by next weekend. Right, so a very interesting set of uh, 12Z model runs. If you enjoyed this update, please smash the like button. Uh, drop a comment, let us know what you think. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that. It's very, very interesting times. Will we get this beastly easily in next weekend? Or, or has the ECM got this right? Um, and, and it may get a bit cold next weekend, but it won't be that big easily that the GFS and GM are showing. It'll be really interesting to see what tomorrow morning's model runs have to say. We'll bring you update with all of those uh, in Galsweb is Sunny Roundup tomorrow. But uh, yeah, the plot thickens, doesn't it? The plot thickens. And we should wait and see where things go next. That's it for today's videos. Uh, thanks so much uh, for watching all of them and uh, liking, subscribing and, and whatnot. And uh, thank you so much, everybody. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow for the next instalment. That's all for now, though. Thanks for watching.